Hey everyone, it's Andy with the Reverb Tome Report. Today we're checking out the Chase Bliss Habit, an experimental delay that can reinsert things you've played up to three minutes ago into the delay path. It's also really versatile with all those classic dip switches and lots of modifiers to the delay signal. So let's check it out. Chase Bliss designed this pedal to grow over time. Specifically, Habit automatically scans from its three minute memory and sprinkles your sonic creations with bleeps and phrases in unexpected ways. The flow of the signal has the memory bank running into a separate echo circuit, which can be routed into the input or not with the in, out, and feed toggle switch. The echo itself has six modifiers or effects separated into A and B banks. These modifiers can affect the pitch, speed, and direction of the repeats, add tape wow and flutter, glitchy dropouts, and even trem effects and filtering. As you play and fill up the memory, the phrases from the past can be conjured up with the scan knob which goes back in time as you increase it. There's also another delay to tap into with the spread knob, giving you another point of access to the memory or even dual delay sounds in lower settings. Like other Chase Bliss pedals, the dip switches give you familiar expression and automated bounce over the main parameters. Habit also gives you advanced options to change how the pedal records and loops over itself, giving you the power to create experimental soundscapes that are sure to melt the hours away. There's a lot to soak in, so look for more information and availability on the Chase Bliss Habit right here on Reverb. Before we get too deep into the Habit and all those you know, random loops, let's get into the modifiers and see how it can affect the tone as well as the pitch and direction of your echoes. So I'm going to start with a, a very basic digital delay by just taking the scan and the spread down to zero. Also, I should mention, uh, you know, you could get some classic tape delay, but also some multi-tap delay when you increase the spread. So that's really in that first 10% of that knob. So let's try some of those multi-tap settings with a little bit of tape warble.
All right, so you got a taste at the end there of diving back into the memory banks of the habit and you know getting some sounds that kind of just come and go at random. Uh, but you know, if you time it right and uh, play along to the tempo that you've tapped in or dialed in, uh, it could be very musical. And you know, if you're playing in the same key, chances are it's gonna uh, kind of work with what you're playing. So let's try some other settings using a longer scan time. And as you heard, the spread is another way of dipping into that uh, three minute loop. So does the scan knob. So let's try some longer settings on that one. Here's a real sliced up delay tone. And like a lot of these settings, a little goes a long way. So I'm hardly using any of the scan. So it's just gonna be sort of a random blip thrown in there every once in a while. Uh, and then I'm just gonna be using a modifier which is actually synced to the delay time. And it's gonna give us sort of a step sound, almost like a tremolo in the repeats. <laughs> And just like all Chase Bliss effects, you can bounce or, in other words, modulate any of the knobs by using the dip switches in the back. So let's bounce the size or delay time. And the cool thing about this sort of delay architecture is it doesn't really warp the sound when you change the delay time. So it stays you know, very in tune. You could have some kind of crazy sounds in the background and uh, still make out what you're playing on guitar. <laughs> The 
longer you play it, the more, uh, you know, sort of surprise you're going to get. Uh, you know, I've had this thing uh, sort of self-oscillating for a while, and so I'm going to roll up the blend, and that's just going to come and go, especially if I have the scan up in its higher regions. <laughs> And one thing I've been wanting to do is bounce the modify knob and when it's set in that filter mode it could be a really cool addition to a rhythmic delay especially if you have that spread engaged to give you a multi-head delay tone and you could have it be a slow filter sweep or you kind of sync it up to the delay time it's really up to you. Well, that's a look at the Chase Bliss Habit, a very unique delay that does everything from unexpected three minute looping to some pretty high quality multi-tap tape delay sounds. So you could check it out right here on Reverb and leave some comments below on your favorite feature on this very unique delay from Chase Bliss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.